Hi, we're here this morning at Hanksters in sunny Daytona Beach, Florida. And today our special guest on the floor is a 1972 C10 Custom 10 Chevy short box pickup truck. Under the hood there's a small block Chevy 350, tarantula style intake manifold, Holly 600 vacuum carburetor on it, nice chrome air cleaner, ceramic coated headers, power steering, power disc brakes in the front, has a modern style serpentine drive belt system on it, as opposed to the regular belts and pulley wheels on it. This thing has a serpentine system on it like your newer vehicles would from GM. Great system to have. Greatest stainless hoses, new battery, inner fender panels are painted nice and bright the way they should be. This car underneath the hood is just as nice as could possibly be. It has a nice wide aluminum cord modern radiator in it. Seven blade fan, flex type fan, uh, it's just as nice a car as you'd ever want to have. New plug wires, HEI distributor in it, new alternator, new water pump. And the motor appears to be 100% fresh. Paint still just as new as could be on it. You got a brand new car underneath the hood here. Also, the hood's painted black underneath to get it with a little bit of dynamics. When you open the hood, you see the, the butterscotch color and the black contrast with the wheel wells. Really looks great under the hood. Across the front of our C10, really nice paint job on this thing, as most of the vehicles, all the vehicles that we have here have. This thing has a real nice even texture to it, nice depth, no uh, orange peel whatsoever in it. It's a nice, nice flat paint job on it. The grill surround is all anodized aluminum and, and polished to a nice chrome-like finish on it. The grill is chrome. You know, the original equipment, so it's chrome-plated plastic, but it, it, it's absolutely brand new. No chips, no marks on it, no teeth missing on it. Front bumper, the chrome is a foot deep in it. Marker lights, amber, the way they should be. Nice and clear, not milky at all. Headlight basils, just as they were when they were new. It's really a great looking truck across the front. The, also, the hood fitment is great, too, as you can see across the front, and both sides are nice and equal. Uh, it's a great, great fitting hood. Nice truck so far. Okay, going down the driver's side, marker light, as you can see, is nice and shiny and clean. No milkiness to the uh, plastic on it at all. Windshield's tinted. Uh, it's a custom truck. It's not a, uh, a high-end uh, option truck more of a base vehicle so it doesn't have trim around the windshield, it just has the, uh, uh, the rubber molding. Period correct, arms on the, on the uh, wipers, the blades are polished stainless so they wouldn't be correct per se for this truck but they're Chevy blades and they look great on the car. Down the side, really really nice, you can see the fitment under the door is just as nice as can possibly be. 20 inch torque thrust style wheels on it with some high dollar tires. Really gives this truck a lot of pop to it. Nice contrast with the white roof. I was always too short, but I don't see any marks or anything on the roof. It's nice and straight, no dings, no repairs or anything on the roof whatsoever. Uh, rubber around the wing is nice. Wings function as they should. Dual mirrors on this vehicle, not the big West Coast type mirrors, but you know, regular standard Chevy mirrors for this truck. Really a nice, nice look on the truck. Uh, door wipes, window wipes, and fuzzies on it, just absolutely brand new. All your seals around the door, same way, just as new as could possibly be. You can't see it, but we'll show it to you in our interior video. But it does have white face gauges in it. Um, it has a Chevrolet style three spoke uh, split steering wheel in it. Automatic on the column, new black interior in it, and a headliner. Really a great combination, this black and, and uh, butterscotch color. Door handles, absolutely like brand spanking new. As you can see, the door has no problems, no issues. Locking gas cap. Again, rubber, uh, no, no stainless, but rubber around the uh, rear light, which also appears to be tinted. Going down the bedside, 
again, straight as can possibly be. Wheel wells feel real good inside. All ten. Rear marker light, just as the one in the front, just as clean as can be, nice and smooth, no milkiness to it. Great looking truck down the driver's side. I can't find any stone chips, I can't find any marks on it. It's just as straight as you could possibly have it. Real nice truck down the driver's side. Let's see if we can find something on the back. Okay, across the back of our vehicle, again being a base truck, there's no chrome basils or anything around the lights and uh, backup lights, but again, as you can see, Lenses are crystal clear, nice and shiny, no milkiness whatsoever to them. The bed has, I don't know how they did this, but it has the bed liner material painted the same color butterscotch as the, uh, the truck is. Really looks good. There's no dents or dings in the bed, nothing evident on the tailgate. It's just a great looking truck inside. I don't see anything at all that you can um, say that there's a problem inside the bed of this truck does have a liner in it that is this color. Of course, it's not shiny like this. It's bed liner material. But it does have bed liner material in it. Chevrolet across the back, of course. Disc brake designation, because that's what it has in the front. Chrome bumper in the back is just as nice. And the fitment, as you can see, is, I don't know how you get it much better. It's just really nice laterally. And uh, the gap-wise, it's really a nice, straight-looking bumper. Again, the chrome is exceptional on it. Uh, no dinks, no marks, nothing on the back bumper. Let's see if we can find something on the passenger side. I still haven't found a dent and I still haven't found a stone chip anywhere, so let's keep looking. Side marker light, the same as the other two on that side. Oh, also this, uh, this tail light and backup light is the same as the other one. It's just nice and clean and smooth and, and no milkiness whatsoever too. Down the side of the bed, no marks, no chips, no dings around the wheel wells. I can't find anything so far. Nothing on top. There's not even any arm mark. Oh, a little tiny one right here. Maybe somebody put their elbow at some point. I can't feel it, but I can kind of see it looking across there like you're skimming a rock across the water. Um, door handle on this door is just as nice. The chrome is, is just as nice and, and, and sweet as can be on it. You can see the interior, which we'll show you in the interior video, but everything in this car, door sill moldings, Rubber molding around, the dash pad, the, the seating, the carpeting, dashboard itself, headliner, sun visors, everything is as it was when it was new or better. Bed transitions onto the uh, cab. You can see it lines up very nicely. Again, it's a pickup truck bed going onto a cab, you know, it's a, it, we're not looking at fitment like this, which actually is very good if you look at the door gaps are really, really good. This side, the same as the other side, the uh, wipes and the, your, uh, your fuzzies around the windows, your window seals, uh, really nice as can be. Love that mirror on the driver, or passenger side and driver's side. Correct era antenna, door, no marks, no, nothing. Same thing down this door to the fender, same as the uh, other side. The cowl area, you can see everything fits just as it should. There's no overlap on anything. Again, the um, custom tent designation. Marker line up front, same way. I just went around this. I just circumnavigated this whole truck and have not found not one single stone chip, not one ding other than, I'm not even going to call it a ding. I'm going to forget that I even said anything about that because you can't see it anyway. This truck is an incredible looking truck. Great color combination, butterscotch and white. 20 inch torque thrust style wheels, high dollar tires. It does have a spare to match this, by the way. Really, really a great looking truck. A great color combination. You can see the condition of this truck is just exceptional. You know, the, the, the finish, the paint, the fitment, the interior, the color, everything about it really has a nice look, a nice pop to it, especially with those wheels. It really adds some pop to this thing. Somebody's looking for a early 70s, late 60s, early 70s truck. We have about six of them right now, and this is one of them. Every one is a different color and a different configuration. Some are big block, some are small block. This one happens to be a small block, runs like crazy. Absolutely fantastic vehicle, and it's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. Okay, we're inside the cab of our 1972 C10 
uh, pickup truck. White face gauges. You can see the surround, everything on it is as it was when it was new. Aftermarket radio, speakers in the kick panels that are brand spanking new. Even the rubbers on the uh, brake and, and uh, accelerator are, are new in this vehicle. Nice Chevrolet style SS steering wheel. Horn that works. Column shift. Automatic. Sun visors just as they were when it, they were new. Headliner is just real nice the way it should be to match the seats. Seat is the original material type perforated uh, vinyl that came from the factory. This particular vehicle, by the way, does have seat belts in it, lap belts, and shoulder belts. So it has a complete uh, seat belt system in it. Great looking vehicle. The finish fit on the dash. Uh, you know, no, no cracks or marks or anything on the dash pad. Carpeting is brand spanking new in the vehicle. Door panels are real nice in the vehicle. I don't see a single thing inside of this vehicle that you can... Uh, uh, would, that would deter you from buying this truck. Great color combination, great looking truck. All right, we're underneath our butterscotch, white over butterscotch, uh, 72 Chevy T10 short box pickup truck. Uh, small block Chevy 350, ceramic coated shorty headers on it, transitioning into two and an eighth exhaust. Aftermarket springs apparently, they're painted red, they appear to be a little thicker than the standard spring on this vehicle. The front end looks real nice and fresh on it. <clears throat> Steering box appears to be all new. No leaks whatsoever on the engine, as you can see. No enclosure on the bottom of this uh, uh, torque converter and flywheel, the automatic transmission. A lot of these cars in Florida don't have them. You want to dissipate some of that heat. Get rid of that heat that's on the uh, converter because the radiator has a hard enough job doing it as it is. It does have cooling lines that do go to the radiator for additional cooling though for the uh, transmission fluid. 700 R4 tranny in this particular car. New starter on it. Appears to be a gear reduction starter also. More modern flair to it. Disc brakes in the front. Calipers are excellent condition. The rotors appear to be fairly new. Uh, they don't show anywhere whatsoever does have a C-channel complete perimeter frame on these trucks. Uh, the, uh, the frame doesn't have any scale whatsoever. The original undercoating is on the floor pans. The transition from the floor pans on to the bottoms of the rockers. Everything is nice and straight. No rust, no deterioration on any of it. The, um, the little bends in the, uh, the floor pans for structural strength, uh, rigidity, are still there. Uh, so they're not some plated in floor pans on this. They all appear to be original on this vehicle. Transmission, as you can see, by the way, is completely fresh and, and redone. Uh, new seals everywhere, and it is 700 R4. Fuel filter from the tank, which is behind the seat in this particular vehicle, and uh, to the engine is there. Uh, parking brake assembly still attached, the original one, and it's still functional. The parking brake does work on this vehicle. Uh, we're halfway through it. I don't see anything on the frame, the floor pans, the substructures, the drop downs, pretty much anything. Engine, everything is new. Forgot to mention new shocks in the front also. Brand new set of shocks. <clears throat> the motor, by the way, looking up on it, all the bolts are new. The paint is still fairly fresh on the sides of it. The pan has a nice fresh coat of paint on it. So it's been a fairly new rebuild on this engine and it runs and drives the way it, it looks too. So. Okay, our Two and an eighth pipes transitioning into two Flowmaster mufflers that you can see are spanking brand new. Uh, there's two turn downs. It doesn't have a complete exhaust system exiting the back. It does, however, go to the uh, uh, differential area and exit. Also, red uh, coil springs in the uh, rear of this vehicle, which leads me to be, believe that they're an aftermarket spring. Two new shocks also to complement the uh, two in the front. Uh, underneath the bed, is the same as the uh, four pans on the vehicle. There's no uh, deterioration whatsoever. The bed substructures are all nice and solid. The uh, swing arms, as you can see, have no rust, no skill, nothing whatsoever on them. Twelve bolt Chevy heavy duty rear in it. Thin drums in the back, uh, the way it would have come from the factory. It does have a spare tire on it, which is a rarity in these vehicles. Most of the time they leave the spare off. This still ha has the original hardware. Probably the original rim, obviously not the original tire, but it's the original type 
setup that came from the factory. Uh, framework in the back, back of the quarter panels, bed sides, I guess, whatever you want to call them. Uh, everything is just as nice and fresh and clean as can be. The uh, uh, floor pan of the trunk in the back is the same as it is on the front part. There's no dents or anything. Uh, just a real nice, straight, clean truck underneath. You can also see no oil leaks. No oil leaks in the uh, transmission, engine, rear end. Everything as dry as can possibly be. Nice, nice, nice. 72 white over butterscotch pickup truck.